I wake up in the morning and I turn the light on and I haven't fed them yet. This is more important for bigger fish, you want to fast them for a few days. For smaller fish like guppies, I've found that just not feeding them, like 12 hours before, is a long enough fast. So the morning that I'm going to ship them, I just turn the light on and normally I would feed them but I don't. So never feed them immediately before shipping. Because when they poop, they poop ammonia and the ammonia can kill them in the bag. So yes, so I turn the light on for the fish tank and I don't feed them. And then I use my net and I pick out. Um, so what I do is I have an acceptable standard and anything, I made my own fish line. Um, it's these solid white guppies here. So anything that is acceptable to the standard I can ship out anything that is not, I put into a call tank, which I then sell, which is over there. Um, so anything in this tank is acceptable to ship, but I usually pick the worst ones, which other people probably wouldn't notice, but like things like, um, that fish is fine, but like that fish has a little bit too much darkness at the base of its tail. Oh yes, you guys probably don't give a, you don't care. So, um, but things like that, when you're the master breeder making the decisions. Um, you make calls like that, like, that guy doesn't have enough white on the top of his head. Oh well. But so yeah, so other people don't care, but you care. So improve your line by selling your fish. Um, so then I catch the fish, and I put them in a bag, and I've got the bag right here. And, um, I'm gonna redo this for you guys. So, what I do is, I'll set this down. Uh, this is called, once it gets in focus, alright, this is called a Texan tube. They're sold by, um, MVP. Mark Percival on aquabid.com and I put the fish, which in this case is um, a trio of guppies and then I gave the, I emailed the buyer and I said, hey, you won my auction for my trio. If you want an extra fish, it'll be $5 per fish. And the dude was like, all right, here's $10. I want another pair. And I was like, okay. So as you can see, I stuck the trio and then the pair. And then, yeah, you can see they have black at the base of their tail. Those are not breeding fish. Well, I mean, they could. But they're the worst. They're, anyway, so um, so anyway, but they're plenty above the standard for what he ordered. See, they are white guppies. Um. Anyway, so I stuck the trio and the pair in the bag, and then I stuck one extra female. Um, I tend to call my males a lot more heavily than my females, so I end up with a lot extra females. And the problem is that big females will eat fry. Yes, you are hungry. So, um, in order to keep the fry up, I do have to also remove females. So I stick an extra female in this bag, um, and that usually makes for good reviews. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can even see. So I've got the trio, the pair, and then an extra female. Okay, so this Texan tube, um, and then, I don't know why I do this. I think it's just superstition. I'm not sure if they need this at all, but I stick it, this is going to be hard to film, but I stick it into another tube this way in, right? And then it eliminates the corners because of the way you tie this bag around it. So let's see if I can possibly film this. Well, that's something. The bag is inside your bag. So now you see that I've double bagged them. Um, I think higher pressure helps get the gases into the water, but I don't think it really matters. But anyway, so you've got your fish. And um, holding them long ways like this, so I, you could definitely ship them with less water. I'm just, uh, it's cold outside and water helps keep the temperature stable. So, um, okay, so then this box, this is a box that basically it's a priority mailbox and they'll ship these to you for free, the U.S. Postal Service will. And then it's just got styrofoam cut to size and a styrofoam lid here. So what I'm going to do is stick the fish in, 
There you go, fish. And I, I have them like that so that they have maximum gas to water ratio. And you can see that there's one, two, three, four, five, six there. The trio, the pair, and the extra. <clears throat> now I'm going to go over to here. This is my little shipping station next to. Oh, so you can store your extra priority mailboxes flat. They come flat. So anyway, it, it's easiest for them. So I've got this. Uh, this is cellulose fiber. You can use any insulation fiber that you want. I like cellulose because it doesn't irritate your skin like the pink stuff does. And then you just take the cellulose and you fill it around the This was $10, I think. I'm not sure. Hmm. I've tried shipping cellulose only without the styrofoam, and it works great from like March until October. And then March and October, you might have a few deaths with certain species of fish. It really depends on the fish. My American native fish, they were fine. They were like, I don't care what temperature it is. It can be cold, it can be hot, I don't care. My Brazilian Amazon fish are like, yeah, it's cold and you die now. Stupid fish. So anyway, next up, uh, this is where I keep all of my cockroaches and also fish supplies. Alright, so, uh, this is a bag of... Unifeet 72 hour um, delayed time release heat packs. Don't let this touch your fish bag. If this touches your fish bag, it will cook them. So put the, like, see how there's the Uniheat bag, the cellulose fiber, plastic of the fish bag, the air, and then the water, and then the fish? That's how you want it. Don't put it next to your fish. The moment that I open this, it's going to start at 72 hours because um, it's air activated. These are about $2 each on aquavid.com. Again, I buy from MVP because Mark Percival is really awesome. He ships you stuff in like three days, you'll have it. I mean, he ships the same day that you pay. Um, and he only makes you pay the actual shipping cost. So, I like him. And now I'm gonna try to open it. Nope, can't do that. So, open it. Um, and now it's activated. So now the game is on. There's no going back. Alright, so either tape it to the top, which I do like that method, or make it so that it can't possibly fall down in there. So that works. And then you put the styrofoam lid on, and you wonder why you feel it so high. Alright, that works. And then you can switch this down. you film <laughs> and I'm gonna use packing tape basically um, and the packing tape is gonna seal it. Now this is a reused box clearly because I would never mark something fragile. They did a study on um, I forget the website but uh, oh well so the fragile marked boxes get kicked more which is not a surprise human nature. So ship it out with priority mail and that means it comes with $50 of insurance. If your fish are worth more than that, extra insurance is like $2, I think, currently. Um, but you definitely want insurance. And then you tell the buyer. You tell them, you say, if your fish arrive dead, take a picture of them and email me the picture. Then, if they're dead, you send the picture to the USPS insurance website. And that website will reimburse you like, they'll send you a check in the mail for the amount that your fish cost, and they'll cover the shipping again. And then you either give that money to the buyer, say, I'm sorry, dude, I'm sorry you got dead fish, or you say, I appreciate your business, I'm going to send you more fish using the money that USPS sent me. So either way, the buyer is not screwed. Um, basically, I've had that happen. Like I said, the Brazilian fish, not so good with the temperatures. So I had one package... Um, 
I insulated it with styrofoam and I put cellulose fiber and it still, the guy took a temperature to it and it was 50 degrees when it arrived. And those plecos, they were L144 plecos, they were like, nope, I'm dead. And I was like, no. So, um, if that happens, have them take a picture of the dead fish. They emailed me the picture. I submitted the picture to the USPS website. USPS paid me, I think it was a $50 order, $50. And then I just gave the money back to the guy, and I was like, I'm sorry. You know, I, I tried to ship them one more time, and they died again, and I was like, I guess it's winter. I'm going to stop shipping fish now. And, um, yeah, I mean, like, it happens. Um, that's why there's a shipping season. Uh, March through October, really. In between October and March, there's a small chance your tropicals can die and I, you want to consult someone else's shipping video for that because I just don't know. I ship mostly US native fish and guppies which are like super hardy and you really can't kill them. So um, but the super sen temperature sensitive things where if it drops to 50 they'll die. I don't know how to help either. Consult someone else's video. Um, maybe a different type of insulation. I don't know. Uh, Alright well I will post this after I get the results of the box. I'm going to have the person email me if they arrive dead. So if they don't email me, I'll be like, oh, they arrived alive. Because there's a tracking number, you can see when they arrive. And then if they arrive alive, I'll upload this video on how to teach people how to ship fish. And, um, yeah, good luck shipping your fish. It's really easy. Sell your fish online. I've had, like, one package out of... 300 die. That's about my rate. It's really easy to ship fish. Especially from March until October, I get zero deaths ever. So, um, ship your fish. Be careful from October to March with the temperature. But, yeah, good luck.